Hello, welcome to Clear Creek Solutions instructional videos. Today we're going over the basics of the rational method. This is a part of our stormwater education series. So maybe you're a student in college, you're just learning about water resources, or maybe you're studying for the FE exam and you're trying to learn about the rational method. Uh, this is a great video for you. First, a little bit about Clear Creek Solutions. We are a hydrology company that does stormwater analysis and facility modeling, as well as some software development for software packages such as WWHM 2012 and WimSwim. We've done software development for clients around the globe, as well as hydrology education and clinics, such as this video, as you see here. So go to www.clearcreeksolutions.com to learn more. Okay, first, let's give a simple definition for the rational method. It is a simple method for calculating flow and runoff for a given stormwater event. So, let's say you have a, a parcel of land, rainfall occurs on that land. The rational method is there to calculate how much of that water is going to run off. So we know how much water is coming off the site, how much do we need to treat or put in a detention facility. This equation is going to sort of give us a rough estimate of what that amount would be. Now let's get, go, get into a little bit of background. This method was developed to easily calculate that runoff from the site. There's only a few variables involved. There's actually only four, Q equals CIA. USCS English units are required for this equation uh, to work properly. And it's still used currently by many uh, municipalities uh, around the country, although there are better methods, continuous simulation model to be exact. But uh, it's still used by many and it can give a, a good rough estimate for projects. Let's talk a little bit about single event hydrology because that is what the, um, the rational method is. It is a single event method. Basically, it means that this method occurs in a vacuum. So when rainfall falls on a certain parcel, we're not taking into account previous rainfall events or anything like that, the soil saturation rate. We're just taking into account this event. So that would be single event hydrology. And it's a primary, primary method that's currently being taught right now, although uh, continuous simulation is starting to gain more ground. This method revolves around the simple equations such as Q equals CIA. So we got flow or the, the discharge runoff off the site area, which is usually an acreage, a runoff coefficient, which is a dimension list based off the soil at the parcel and the intensity of the rainfall, which is inches per hour. There are plenty of free and paid software packages that use this method. And, it, and uh, like I said, it's easy to program and use. There's only a few variables here. So there's a few assumptions, as I said before, the rainfall event always returns the same flood period. So every rainfall event of the same intensity on that site is always going to return the same flood. Now, this is not exactly what happens in the real world, because previous events are always going to modify how much runoff there is based off the soil saturation and other conditions. But for the rational method, we just keep it simple to get an estimate. Like I said, the soil moisture conditions are assumed. And we can't account for the long-term infiltration, or as I said before, the back-to-back -back storms. And the latest research in hydrology shows that continuous simulation is much more accurate to uh, calculate this uh, discharge. But for the rational method, this is just what we're going to use. And it's taught, and it's very simple. So let's go into some basic formulas. And this is stripped straight from the FE manual for the uh, civil engineering uh, FE exam. We've got the one on the right, the rational method, Q equals CIA, and then we've got an SCS rainfall runoff equation. We're going to do a sample problem with both so you can see how these equations work. So for our first sample problem, a 20-acre parcel of land has a rainfall intensity of 1.5 inches per hour and a rational method runoff coefficient C of 0.1. The flow rate or discharge from the site is most nearly. So how are we going to do this equation? Well, we're going to use Q equals CIA, the peak discharge equals the runoff coefficient times the rainfall intensity times the watershed area. So this is pretty simple here. Q equals C, 0.1 times I, 1.5 inches per hour times A, 20 acres equals three CFS. And I just wanted to prove to you that the units do work out for this equation because uh, on the surface, feet cubed per second, you wouldn't think that acreage and inches per hour would work out, but I just wanted to show you guys that C has no units i is in inches per hour and if you convert inches per hour to feet per second and then acreage is just an area and that can compute out to feet squared so now you've got feet oh, feet per second times feet squared equals feet cubed per second which equals the peak discharge feet cubed per second for so the units do work out in this equation so the answer would be a now let's move on uh, to the next problem to find the runoff q for a parcel that has a curve number cn of 88 and a precipitation p of three inches so we're going to use that SCS or rainfall runoff equation. This is going to be a little more complicated. We might have to have multiple steps here, 
but the uh, the same basics apply. So we got precipitation inches, the maximum basin retention S, Q runoff in inches, and the CN curve number. So here's the solution. First, we're going to use that equation, 88 equals 1,000 over S plus 10. So that was one of the one of the equations back. If we go back a few slides here. Um, S equals 1,000 over CN minus 10, or I'm actually, I think I'm using uh, CN equals 1,000 over S plus 10. And then I'm just multiplying this factor to the other side, and then you can find S, which is 1.364. Then we're going to plug that into this equation, the top one, Q equals uh, P minus 0.2S squared over P plus 0.8S with all of our given variables, and you get Q equals 1.82. So the answer is B. So those are some basic uh, problems using the rational method and the SCS runoff equation. So that's the basics of the rational method. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. But this is just a simple method for calculating runoff in hydrology. Really, it is much more complicated. So how do we learn how to use these more complicated methods? Well, we've developed a software package called WimSwim, which is a continuous simulation hydrology model. If you want to learn more about continuous simulation, check out our video, Continuous versus Single Event Hydrology. But the best way to do hydrology and calculate these methods is to use a continuous simulation hydrology software such as WimSwim. And if you're using a package such as uh, WWHM 2012, we have a free gift for you. You can get a free template pack that allows you to calculate um, and start designing your stormwater facilities today. So go to the description box, you know, give us your email and we'll send you that template pack so you can get started right away. So thank you for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time.